Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I am feeling tired. We are in just about week 34 of this twin pregnancy. I want them to keep cooking in here as long as they can, but I'm also ready to not be pregnant with twins anymore. It is not for the week, that is for sure. But I am really excited to show you today's video. This is something I looked for a lot on YouTube, like how people organize their home for a baby, how they prepped like a nursery cart and bassinets and stuff in their room for babies to sleep in. So that's what I'm here for today, showing you how we have set up our home to be ready for these twins. If you're not subscribed, please do so now. And if you're not following me on Instagram either, now would be a great great time to do so. And since we're already in the nursery, why don't I show you what I've done for organization for this dresser since I know I asked for suggestions in my nursery video. So here's what I decided to do. I have all of our newborn pajamas, zero to three, pajamas and then newborn onesies. These here are like preemie onesies, but we actually just got an order of preemie clothes in the mail. So I'm either gonna fit them in here. Yeah, that'll fit. Also, I didn't break it up by baby boy, baby girl. There just honestly isn't enough space for that. And so much of this is gender neutral. So then on this side, I have zero to three onesies. And then here I have newborn and zero to three month sets, ones that I wanted to keep together and zero to three month pants. And then here, this is still like extra snoo sacks and I don't know, TBD. These are three to six month pants, three to six month shirts and onesies, three to six month plus like big looking three to six month and then six to 12. So if I need extra space, I can move these things into a box since it'll be a while till we'll be wearing those. Okay, so now I wanna show you what is happening in our bedroom. They are going to be sleeping in here when they are first born up until like, I don't know, four to six months or something like that. So I wanted to be as prepared as I could in here as to not be like running into the nursery at 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. and 7 a.m. every time they need something. So here's what we're doing. Okay, so we have two snooze for these little babies. We were back and forth about what kind of bassinet and I just love the snoo. I've always wanted to do snooze and then I was like, dang it, two of them. But we got these actually through Facebook Marketplace. They are used, still expensive, but half the price of a brand new snoo. And even if you rent it, like if we were renting two for the shipping back fee, the cleaning fee, we are getting a way better deal just buying them used and we'll resell them ourselves when we're ready. So this is my little diaper cart. This thing is $30 from Target. And then I have a couple Ikea baskets and some Target baskets here. So let me walk you through how I organized. This will be diapers in here. We don't know what size. I'm assuming preemie diapers. This is our only pack of preemie diapers we have. So <laughs> I'm gonna need to um, stock up when we're at the hospital. And I have wipes and diaper paste. I don't know if I'll need this here because this is like the middle of the night cart. This is when they're sleeping in our room. Otherwise, I am planning on like still changing them and doing stuff in their nursery. And then I just have a handful here of newborn pajamas and then some burp cloths. Then here, I could probably mix this one up. These are all nursing pads. I probably don't need a full bin of those. And these are like breastfeeding comfort <laughs> items. This is gonna be my snack box. I currently just have some applesauce packets, some Lara bars. And then these like Nature Valley almond. They're obviously like not healthy, but they're so yummy. So, oh, and I also have my jar of peanut butter and I'll get some spoons. <laughs> so if I need a snack in the middle of the night, that's what I'm doing, but I'm still snacking on that for now. And then here is my LV breast pump parts. I have my motif one in here, but I'm actually bringing them to the hospital. So these are extra snoo swaddles for now. Oh my gosh, look at this. There's the belly. So as far as an actual, changing pad in here. I haven't quite decided what I wanna do. We don't really have like counter space. So here's what I'm thinking. So honestly, I was thinking of just getting like a portable changing pad and using our bench at the end of our bed and just changing them on here. Or we have like the dresser up here, but it's just like kind of tall. Again, I didn't wanna move the changing pad from the nursery. So that's the only thing I've yet to figure out in here. <laughs> 
Something else I wanted to mention is we talked about like what to do if I am pumping in the middle of the night and then do I have to go downstairs and put it in the fridge and come back up every time? And we were like, should we get a mini fridge in our room to like keep snacks and milk and like pump parts? But I think we're gonna, we have like a ice chest, like portable ice chest. We're gonna keep cooler packs in and see if that works for nighttime. And then just in the morning, I'll bring it down and put it in the refrigerator or freezer or whatever. Okay, so downstairs in our built-ins, I have this caddy that I wanna show you. So this came highly recommended. This is just like a felt caddy from Amazon and this will be kept downstairs. So if we need to change diapers, we do not need to bring both babies all the way up to the back corner nursery. So I have diapers in here. Um, I have burp cloths, wipes. Then I have some diaper cream, some baby nail clippers, some nursing pads, some pacifiers, two of those, and then two pairs of baby socks. And then we have the gather mat and it is meant to be a changing pad. So these are super nice if you're not familiar. They're leather, wipeable, little portable changing pads. So that is what we have in our diaper caddy downstairs. And then up on our buffet here in the kitchen, we have our bottle sterilizer. I have yet to test this out. I should probably do that. And then for now, I just have all of the baby bottle stuff down here. Um, it's sort of just like a hodgepodge. I don't know how to organize this. If you have suggestions, please let me know. If this is just how it's done, <laughs> like let's be practical, it all gets thrown in here. Let me know that too. Okay, let's go install some car seats. Time is it? Time to put the car seats in. Do you like my outfit? We're getting less and less or more and more creative by the day over here. Okay, anyways, we got these car seat protectors. I don't know, just protects our seats from the car seats. So we're gonna put these in first. Loop around the top, same place. They have like the safest place for a car seat technically is the middle seat, but we have two. So we're doing one on each side so that they'll fit. Ooh. Yeah, and then those like clip. There, the Nuna turns green when it's locked in. Okay, car seat's in. There's one. <laughs> Okay, putting the little mirrors on. Done. The hardest part of this was getting these mirrors aligned properly, but the actual car seat was pretty easy. All right, well that was today's video. Nothing crazy, hopefully helpful though for you. As always, if you have any tips or tricks that you think would be helpful, please do let us know. I'm a ticking time bomb over here, guys. So I only have like two more scheduled videos and then I need to figure out what I'm filming because I thought babies would be coming at this point. They could come really soon. I think week 35, 50% of twin babies are born in week 35, so. We shall see. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will see you on the next one, per the usual. Bye.